Guns blazing, shots fired. They are raging, but they are tired. The day that my son was killed, he was wearing a hood and he had a hat on because it was raining. And they thought it was the other person that they threatened don't come back around here. You know, you walk up behind him, pull the trigger, my baby drops on his face, blood everywhere. And you didn't even look at that. He just walked away. This partnership will make Boston the leader in transforming the narrative of gun violence. Stories of grit, of desperation, of grief, of resilience. No child should have to live with this persistent fear of being shot and killed, and no parent should ever experience this loss. All they want is to feel love. All they need is an ear to listen. Who is telling the stories of lives taken or forever changed by guns? How are these stories told? For what purpose? Do they help us understand both the person behind and in front of the gun? Do they help us to understand the underlying reasons, the long-standing impacts, the collective trauma? No. Assumptions were made, narratives were rewritten, until we took control and worked to change the narrative as to who this young Black teen was. Since I was elected to office, I've had a front row seat at the harm caused by the stories we tell ourselves and the stories told about us in the media. My district is largely a district of color, we face incredible hurdles in almost every inequity that you can imagine and think of. The only solution is to pick up the gun and allow the spirit of anger drive them to a place they're familiar with, sorrow. Survivors, they are resilient, they are strong, they are compassionate, they are empathetic, and they are leaders. The best way to combat trauma is to inform joy. We see these massive problems, and instead of cowering, they're inspired, and they become creative and they approach this with no fear. Their future is in all of our hands. Visions do come true. What this collaborative is about is so much hope. And be ready. We are here, and we are here to stay. I've been so afraid, knocked off my feet. I need some faith. I need some peace. But how can I pray for what I haven't seen?